Dad. It's the switching from chaotic scenes back to these peaceful scenes, you know? And the chaotic scenes happen when he's with that girl behind him. See, that that's kind of like, I don't know if it's a metaphor, if it's a, an analogy for his feelings, for his mind, his heart, but when he thinks back to that relationship and having her in his life, darling, whatever it may be, it's this chaotic sandstorm. So it, it's very symbolic. Dad. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to another reaction, review, commentary, whatever you like to consider it. So this video actually comes to us by a Patreon. Big shout out to Liss. Um, Liss recommended Taeyang, darling. So let's read what Liz had to say. Liz says, hey, hope you are well. So it was just Taeyang from Big Bang's birthday. So it's him for my May request. These are May requests though. Also, you didn't do my April request, but I send it really late because I was sick. Can I send it again? Yes, Liz, you can send it again. Um, if anything, send it to me private message and I'll try to get to it. So definitely do that. But anyways, Taeyang, darling music video, English sub slash romanization. Let's hop into this video. Let's hop into this video. Also, it's very late at night right now, so my energy isn't like through the roof. Hopefully you guys understand that. But yeah, man, let's go. Let's go. Let's get it. Linton Wilson presents to you another banger. So we're starting off in like a sandstorm. Oh, that was a nice hit. I like that. I like that. Mmm, that piano. Hey, hey. Wasn't expecting this. Have a cool and potent goodbye. Hey. Okay, so, so the song is about him, Taeyang, speaking to a girl or whatever, basically saying, you know, we we broke up, you know, I lost my cool because we left each other, or so-and-so, quote-unquote, left each other. I lost my cool, and, you know, it's whatever. We're over now. So I gotta get past <laughs> that. See, that, that's, that's the hard thing about relationships, right? Because you genuinely wholeheartedly feel sometimes that you have done your best. And no matter what, as long as you put in your all, that person is going to want to stay with you. And one thing that we struggle with as people is understanding the fact that not everybody is meant to be in your life, right? And sometimes people just don't connect the way that you see it in your head because you could be giving that relationship your all. You know, you could be pouring your soul and heart into that relationship and they just don't want to be with you. And it's, it's nothing too serious, but we tend to take it seriously because we put in all this effort just for it not to work out. And my philosophy is, you know, everything in life happens to you for a reason, right? Nothing happens on accident. Nothing happens, whatever. Everything happens for a reason. And the, my basis on that philosophy is that the universe is testing you right? The universe gives you a bunch of trials and tribulations that you need to overcome in order for you to attain the things that you need. So maybe that relationship that, you know, you broke up with that got past you, um, they broke up with you, they left you, whatever it may be, maybe that relationship happened so that you could find somebody 10 times better. You know, you won't know what is out there for you unless you patiently take the time, you know, and see where things lead you. You got to not see everything as a negative sometimes even though it's so prompting to see things as negatives negative thoughts are way more powerful than positive thoughts right negative thoughts come to you way easier than positive thoughts but if you can condition yourself to you know go through positive thinking you're going to transform the way you see everything right so at the end of the day i still understand how shitty it is to have somebody leave you and i'm not saying to get over those feelings but you know take the time to you know go through that and then move on because everything's happening for a reason. I like this scene though. Like walking on, walking on ice. That's kind of like... It works. <laughs> okay, he went down. Ah. That was a nice transition though. One thing I really love about the song is that it's leading. The whole song's basis is on the piano. It's so nice. Oh. It's 
it's the switching from chaotic scenes back to these peaceful scenes you know and the chaotic scenes happen when he's with that girl behind him see that that's kind of like i don't know if it's a metaphor if it's an analogy for his feelings for his mind his heart but when he thinks back to that relationship and having her in his life darling whatever it may be it's this chaotic sandstorm so it, it's very symbolic <laughs> Hey. Darling, darling, you're and then she's leaving him back into the fog. So, did she pass away? Just date someone who doesn't make you cry then. I hate myself for saying such cruel words. This makes it this makes it so much sadder. Bad. I'm, I feel like I'm going to cry now Because I didn't know it's, it's like I can feel the emotion 10 times more now Because I realized This song is giving me super eyes, nose, lips feeling This is, this is giving me eyes, nose, lips feelings This is so wild Why are they at a church? Did she die? I'm so confused I'm so confused Did she pass away? Because I remember Eyes and Those Lips, but I don't really remember the context of it. Nothing lasts forever, yep. Oh, that was a nice run, Taeyang. Okay. Bro, maybe she didn't die. <laughs> maybe I just took it out of context. Maybe she didn't die. Maybe she just left and maybe they were going through like a rough time. Why do, why do I think she died though? I feel like I feel like I got like some misinformation on my eyes, nose, lips video that I took out of context. Damn, that's my bad. It doesn't take away from the fact that this is still a great song. The production on it is amazing. Hey. I mean, you can't even blame me though. There was, there was, they were in the church. They were releasing doves. She was walking into the gas, the smoke. I don't know if she passed away or not. I don't know if she passed away or not. I don't know how to feel. Were they going through a rough time or did she pass away? His wife's name is Min Hyorin, Hyorin or Hyorin or something like that. I forgot. But it is. I'm so confused. This song, this song hurt my brain. This song hurt my brain. Your eyes and those lips confuse me and now this confuses me, but <laughs> it is what it is. Um, but my general opinion about the song, say for instance, I don't really know the context, but listening to the lyrics of what it was about, I genuinely believe, you know, the song is about getting past all of that hurt that you felt in your time. You know, as he said, nothing lasts forever. Um, the pain doesn't last forever. You know, water flows shit like that you know the pain that you feel today is not the pain you're gonna feel tomorrow as they say and i feel like that's the general basis of the song um i was hurt but i gotta move past it i gotta keep going um anyways again this video did come to you by list big shout out to you list sorry if my interpretation for this one wasn't the best i was a bit confused i could have probably done research ahead of time so that's my fault um again thank you so much for requesting this video again thank you for becoming a patreon in the first place i do appreciate it and i'm, I'm just happy you out here list big shout out to you again it's nighttime so the energy is not really there but i'm trying my best out here but yeah man tay yang darling music video tay yang killed this um again thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed the video again remember stay present remain present 
because present moment is all you have. So enjoy while you can. <laughs> he lost, but he didn't lose at the same time. He lost, but he won. That pure face of rage. He's like, I may be losing now. <laughs> I may have lost the battle, but I won the war is what he's saying right now. Yup. This, this is my child. It's not even my family member, but he got 